MJ, before we get into Saturday's game against Port Vale, um, how's it been this week in training? It's been good. We've had a good week uh, off the back of a good point away to Lincoln. We, you know, we came back in Monday ready to go again and we feel like, you know, pre-season certainly over now and we've had a really good week, we've had a really intense week. Um, training's been right where it needs to be and, um, well, certainly from from my point of view and the players' point of view, it felt like we've had a we've had a good week's training. Hopefully, you know, the manager thinks the same and, um, yeah, I think we're in, a, we're in a great position going into the weekend. Looking back at that game against Port Vale at the end of last season, I'm not sure whether it feels like yesterday or whether it feels like ages ago, but it's only been 92 days. Um, do you still feel a little bit hurt by what happened that day or is it firmly out of your mind now? I think that there's no no denying that we would have loved to have gone up as champions last year and um, certainly us as players did feel like we'd we'd got almost there and it was a slight disappointment but now you know we got the job done that we needed to last year and we are where we wanted to be um, and you know it's not going to be a revenge game at all this weekend but it certainly lives on in in, in the guys that were here last year's memory and um, you know we'll, we'll be looking to put it right it's a very important game for not not for though not for that reason at all it's just an important game because it's our first home game it's um it's a game where we will be looking to to take three points because they're a team that possibly probably will be around us come at the end of the season so it's um it's going to be a very very important game having scored the goal that got us to league one you you will possibly be leading out your side on saturday as captain for our first home game in league one uh, for 10 years that must be something you, you'll be incredibly proud of? Yes. Uh, obviously, I was, was a little bit disappointed last weekend not to not to be able to lead the boys out away to Lincoln. But whenever that comes, I'll be I'll be extremely proud. I mean, um, one of the proudest moments was was last year leading the boys out in, in front of a, a near enough packed house um, to Bradford. So, um, yeah, it's it's very special for me, you know, a, a local a local guy and um, someone who's came through the academy. It's um, it's very special. So uh, and it feels it feels really good around the place at the moment. Everyone's together, even you know the, the fans and, and everyone in the city seem to be really rooting for us again. And um, you know it's, we're all in very difficult times again, and it's very expensive and all the rest of it. And it's just it's just so nice to be able to have people in the games and, and fully backing us. So uh, it's going to be you know we're, we're all really really looking forward to to the weekend. You mentioned that game against Port Vale and and how the players felt a majority of that group has stayed together other, other than really Cam Dawson the core of that team is, is still here and that does that feel quite important to you that you're going on this next step of, of the journey together I think it's I think it's vital I think um, if you ask I think I was speaking to Marcus Flitcroft about it and he he, he said um, that sometimes signing too many players can disrupt things and it's more about keeping the group together, uh, keeping the core group. And like you said, other than Cam and I suppose George, George Ray at the start of last season, we've, we've kind of kept that, um, kept that group together. So I think it's, that's going to be something that's going to stand us in really, really good stead this year. And, um, it's nice to have not too many changes. Um, obviously we've added, we've added some quality and, um, I'm sure Matt will be looking to bring in a few more before the, before the uh, the window closes, but I think it's ultra important that we we've kept the group together. During the week, uh, Dan Green and Connor Derbidge, uh, we've announced that the pair of those are leaving. I, I guess both of those have had quite an influence on, on your career here. Yeah, uh, yeah. First of all, I think from from myself and the players, I think we'd like to thank uh, obviously. Obviously, both of them, Connor and Dan. Dan's been with the club for for many, many years, almost as many as me, I think. And um, someone I actually used to play with, and he's um, at Truro, so he's done some fantastic work um, working with the young players. And like I touched upon earlier, he he sort of bridges that gap between the youth team and the first team, and he's been able to develop players um, into playing into our first team and also move it on. So he's done a terrific job, and we're all very, very grateful. And he'll be sorely missed. Um, similar to Connor, I mean. The S and C side of football is is sort of coming to an its own, coming to its own now, and it's so important. You look at some of the the more athletic players in our team: Josh Key, Czech, myself, <laughs> and uh, no, but but there's a lot of players that Connor's really really worked hard with and developed, and it sort of gives 
you know, gives another string to their bow, I suppose. So we wish them the very best of luck. Um, and uh, like I said, there'll be a big, there'll be a big miss um, from us as players. And I think just just on, on on Connor, it's you know Matt Matt said earlier that we're a very fit team, and that that was a big part of last season. And that's all mm-hmm. for him. And with Dan as well, it's no surprise that I know we can't talk about where he's going, but it's no surprise that he's going where he's going. Yeah. Uh, first of all, Connor's obviously he, he, he's done so well. Uh, I think that fitness that fitness word that we used so many times last year it, it stood us in such good stead. Come sort of sixty seventy minute mark when um, you know teams had to change and they they didn't have as fit of players on the bench as what we did, and everyone was ready and raring to come on whenever required and. That was down to Connor making us run around all the time. So uh, yeah, I don't think that'll be that'll be too missed. But um, and Dan, obviously, he, Dan's going to be taking a really good role, um, and he fully deserves that sort of step up. And um, yeah, we're, we're we're very very grateful for, for all his hard work. And I'm he, he'll be missed not just by the players, but also you know from Matt and Wayne and and Marcus and all, and and Scott and all these guys. They'll you know, he'll, he'll be missed because he does a lot of hard work behind the scenes that not, that not many people would see. 